So hi everyone, welcome back to another video and in this one we're going to look at the screw shot. This is a very common shot that players struggle with to try and generate enough screw back and enough spin on that white so that they get the white moving. Now I'm not saying this video is going to turn you into Judd Trump but this is just going to give you some of the good tips and things to think about to get these screw shots better. Now to have a look at this screw shot I've set up a very common little situation that we might find ourselves in. So I'm just off straight on the black here. Um, there's two reds in the middle of the table there. I'd love to be able to get onto these two reds. Now we can see I can't play the pink here. It's tied up by this red. The blue is actually over this middle pocket here, stopping these reds going into this middle pocket. So actually what I need to do is I need to get the white off this cushion and somewhere over here for these two reds. Now the first tip here is that players try too hard to generate screw back. So you see this very commonly in the club. It looks like players are feathering really quickly there. They're gearing up to play a really high powered shot and actually we can do this with far less effort. So one of the common things we'll see is that players are gearing up there. You see them getting ready to play that screw shot and then they hit it and then they don't actually generate much screw back. Now we're going to try and get rid of that tension and that effort because that actually stops us hitting as smoothly and as accurately. Okay, so I'm going to play this shot again and this time I'm going to try and relax and do everything right. So this time we want to remove the tension. So when I'm feathering, nice and relaxed, don't feather too quickly. I've got my upper body nice and relaxed. I'm trying to, even though I'm in my snooker setup, I'm trying not to have lots of tension and feel like I'm gearing up to do something that's very, very difficult. You want your muscles nice and relaxed and controlled. So you go into the shot, you're trying to keep yourself nice and relaxed. Don't go too quickly, nice and smooth. And that should help you to generate the spin that you want more easily. So that's the first tip. Don't try too hard. Keep everything nice and relaxed. Tip number two is that we don't want this grip to be squeezing really tightly around the cue. Now between lots of professional players, some players will grip the cue a little bit tighter when they're playing screw shots than others, but none of them will be going from gripping it nice and relaxed during their feathers to 10 out of 10 in power and an absolute massive squeeze on the cue when they play the shot. Now the reason we talk about that is if you just even put your tip to the cue ball like this and then you squeeze your hand, watch the way the tip actually moves around on the cue ball. So you can see that by literally just moving my hand, by squeezing my hand around the back of the cue, it actually moves the tip where, where you're actually pointing at the cue ball. Now that's important because if you're aiming right at the bottom of the cue ball and then you put this squeeze on the back of the cue and the tip moves, sometimes you could get that jump, you might miss cue, and other times it might actually make you hit a bit higher and you don't strike where you're aiming and you don't generate the screw back that you want. So again, remember, just like I've talked about before, that when you play this shot, you can just keep your grip hand nice and relaxed, push through, as long as you hit the bottom of the white, you don't need to have this massive amount of tension here. You can put a little bit on when you're playing a screw shot, but be careful, you do not want to be going up to 10 out of 10 in power moving the tip around, which is making us not hit on the white anything like as accurately. Tip number three is backswing and delivery. Now I talked about this in my last video as well, the backswing, so if you haven't seen that, if you click up there, that'll take you to a video all about why a longer backswing is useful on lots of shots. Especially useful on a screw shot like this. We need enough of a runway that we can pull the cue back far enough, then we've got a nice runway then to smoothly get the cue back up to speed. And again, like I talked about at the beginning of this video, not having too much tension in the body. By bringing the cue back a bit further, you've got plenty of time to get the cue up to speed. So a common thing you might see here is that players do their feathers up and then their final backswing is not very long and then they punch at the ball and it's much harder to get the cue smoothly up to speed and get it going at its fastest when you hit the white so you generate as much of that backspin as you possibly can. So let's do that again and remember that this will take some practice. So if you're somebody that doesn't naturally use that long backswing, it will feel very unusual to pull the cue back that far. So it does take a bit of practice and getting used to, but in the long term, it's really going to help you with these screw shots. So the beauty is I can pull the cue back here and then I've got plenty of time to smoothly push through the bottom of the white, generating that spin. So keep nice and still, cue all the way back, push through, keep still, and you'll see that easily there, I've managed to get the white off and out into open play onto those two reds. Remember, as I say, that does take a bit of practice, but now it's the right thing to do. If you put some practice in, hit a few shots, start with some simpler ones, 
Just use that long backswing, nice and relaxed, let the cue do the work for you. Tip number four, keep still when you play the shot. Again, you hear this all the time on the TV. This is one of the biggest things that we talk about, keeping still. But again, just like we saw that when we put the tip to the white and the grip was going too tight, you could see the, the tip moving around. If you've got head movement or body movement as you try and strike the ball, that can easily move the cue offline again. We're trying to deliver this cue as accurately as you possibly can. So really, in theory, the only moving part that there needs to be is this, this arm at the back here, just delivering to here and staying still. Always talking about delivering to your chest. So when you play these shots, try and again, it all goes back to the first tip, relaxed, no tension in your body, keep nice and still, don't panic on these shots. So give yourself enough time to do, you know, get nice and low on the white, do your feathers up nice and smooth, nice and relaxed, pull the cue back, keep still, don't move. That's the shot played. And if you start to build up those habits, then you've got all of these good things to fall back on when these screw shots crop up. So when these kind of shots present themselves to me in a frame, I'm thinking about all these things so that when I play the shot, I've got everything in my favour to try and get a nice, good, correct screw shot. So the final tip, tip number five, is that if you're doing all of these things right, you feel like you're doing the longer backswing, you're nice and relaxed, you're staying nice and still, but you're still not generating the screw back that you want, it might be that you need to aim a little bit lower down on this white ball than you think. Now, lots of players have got the fear of, if I go low, I'm going to jump the white. Now, little disclaimer here, be careful, because I'm not telling people to go into their local clubs and hit so low that they're chipping the white off the table. When I'm doing training sessions on my table here, I don't mind if people find the extreme point on the white and miss cue. This is what I use for my training sessions and this cloth is replaced every single year because that's what it's for. So be careful in your local club that you're not taking chips out the cloth and you're being careful. Make sure your ferrule and your tip is in good condition so that if you do get an occasional miss cue, you're only taking a slight layer off, off the cloth and you're not actually taking a chunk out of it. So the last thing here is just, if you're not getting that screw back, try just going a little bit lower. So make sure you're right at the bottom of the white. You know, you're going a little bit lower than you might be comfortable with, and that'll help you to feel like you can generate this screw back. So you might even find, as I say, be careful in your local club, but if you go lower, you might find you actually find where the extreme point is and you chip the white, that's a bit too low. So obviously then you've got to make that slight adjustment. So as always, thanks a lot for watching the video. I really hope you found it useful. If you did, remember to give it a like. If you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and upload new videos every single week. For anyone that's interested in any personal one-to-one -one coaching sessions, look in the description box below, send me a message, and I'd love to help you personally with your game. And as always, catch you in the next one, everybody. Cheers.